One of the most stubborn flat earthers around is Jake the A-hole. We've covered him before, remember, when he was trying to debunk Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin flight. And there you have it, folks, your official crew of Blue Origin flunkies. Now you may be asking, what about the pilot? What about the actual crew members that got these flunkies into space? Oh, well, apparently the flight was totally automated and requires no crew members. I am waiting with bated breath in what I'm sure will be an Artemis 1 debunk coming up. But for now, he is set on debunking the famous blue marble picture taken back in 1972 by the crew of Apollo 17. <laughs> and welcome along to another episode of Flat Earth Friday with me, Simon Dan. Thank you very much for joining me. Before we begin today, a huge thank you to the sponsors of today's video, Established Titles. Established Titles is a project based on historic Scottish custom where landowners are referred to lairds or lords and ladies in English. They allow people to buy as little as one square foot of dedicated land so they can call themselves a lord or lady. Title packs give you the land on a private estate in Eddleston, Scotland and an official certificate with a crest. Your certificate features a unique plot number where you can see the exact location of your land and obviously you can officially change your name to Lord or Lady, getting it on anything you want, from credit cards to plane tickets, and you can even put it on your dating profile. It really does make a great last minute gift. And they even have a couples pack as well with adjoining plots of land. My favorite thing about established titles is they will plant a tree with every single order. It's essentially a fun novel way to help preserve the picturesque woodlands and biodiversity of Scotland while supporting global afforestation efforts. Established titles have told me that the first 200 people that purchase a title pack using my link will be right next to my plot within a few minutes walk. Depending on how many of you want to be a lord or a lady, we can have a Simon Dan kingdom in no time. It really does make an amazing last minute gift and established titles are running a massive sale right now. Plus you can get an additional 10% off using my code Simon Dan. Go to establishedtitles.com slash Simon Dan now to get your gift and help support the channel. Right back to today's video where as I mentioned at the start, Jake the A-hole is going to try and debunk the famous blue marble image. This should be good. There she is, the blue marble in all her glory, the most widely used image of the earth. And what a beauty it is. I'm always fascinating as to why the earth is referred to as a she, by the way, perhaps a loose connection with mother nature, who knows? Either way, Jake is gonna do his absolute best to try and debunk her. This image has been used over and over and over again for decades. In my opinion, it's one of the most realistic looking images of the Earth from space. Well, that would be because it is real, Jake. Crazy, isn't it? Now, NASA claims they don't have very many authentic photos from space, but they claim this one is authentic. They say the photograph was taken by astronauts on December 7th, 1972 at 5.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And since the entire disk is illuminated, we can take a look at this a little bit closer. 5.39 a.m. in Eastern Standard Time is actually 11.39 a.m. in South African Standard Time and 12.39 p.m. East Africa Time, which is what the island of Madagascar sits in. Now, looking back at the blue marble, we can see that these times make sense given the countries we can see on the face of the Earth in the image. It is one of the most widely distributed photographic images in existence. The image is one of the few to show an almost fully illuminated Earth disk. Earth disk? That's an interesting choice of words. Okay. Yes, a disk. In astronomy, we call the faces of a celestial object a disk. And that's mainly due to their disk shape and appearance. And the astronauts had the sun behind them when they took the image. To the astronauts, the slightly gibbous Earth had the appearance and size of a glass marble, hence the name. Well, since they gave us the exact date and exact time they supposedly took this picture in space, I decided to go to timeanddate.com and then use the day and night world map feature. 
Now, this website is really cool. It'll actually show you which countries and continents are in daylight and which countries and continents are at nighttime at any given time that you type in. Indeed, it is a wonderful tool, but I do wonder how he's gonna use this to try and debunk the blue marble. So I typed in that exact date and that exact time, December 7th, 5.40 in the morning, and this will show you which areas are supposed to be in night and which areas are supposed to be in day. It's pretty easy to read. Now, when we look at the blue marble, we can see that Africa is lit up. We can see the Middle East, like Saudi Arabia and, and Yemen is, is lit up. We can see Madagascar. Um, we can see a little of Antarctica. But other than that, we don't see a whole lot of land masses lit up. So that would mean all the other land masses would have to be on the other side of the Earth in darkness? Well, not necessarily. Because the Earth is a sphere, and depending on how far away you are when looking at it, some areas of that sphere may be illuminated without us being able to see them. And of course, there'll be areas in dawn and dusk. However, when we go to timeanddate.com and we type in December 7th, 1972, 5.40 a.m. in the morning, Africa is indeed lit up, as shown on the blue marble. However, South America should also be in daylight. Europe should also be in daylight. An entire chunk of Russia should be in daylight. And the western end of Australia should also be in daylight. Yet none of these places are featured on the blue marble. So therefore, on the blue marble, they would be on the other side in darkness. No, this is all to do with how the photo was taken and our old friend perspective. Take a look at this. I haven't done this for a while, but this is my globe and I've recreated the blue marble in terms of how we see it. When I took this photo, I was very close to my globe, but what happens if I step away from my globe and zoom in? You can see more of the Earth the further away you are. The 1972 Blue Marble picture was taken at about 28,000 miles above the Earth's surface. Now, that is very close considering their full journey was over 384,000 miles away to the Moon. When you view the Earth from the Moon, then you are a lot further away and therefore you can see a lot more of the Earth. It's a simple perspective trick, Jake, and you've fallen for it. As the astronaut said, they took the picture with the sun behind them. So, this is a major flaw, a major glaring hole in the blue marble. Except it's not, is it, Jake? Because of perspective, as I've just explained. And literally anyone within a few minutes can take the time and convert Eastern Standard Time to other world times and find out all these places should be in daylight, such as Rio de Janeiro, 6.39 a.m. should be in daylight, Helsinki, Finland, 12.39 should be in daylight. Moscow, Russia, 1.39 should be in daylight. Perth, Australia, 5.39 p.m. should still be daylight. And they would have been, Jake. It's just that the blue marble photo is not evidence in itself that they were not illuminated. Now, if the blue marble photo showed these cities in darkness on the globe, then you would have a case and I would listen. I think this more than proves, folks, that this photo is not a correct representation of Earth. It is just as fake as all of the other admittedly fake Photoshop composites. However, this one NASA claims is a real authentic photo of Earth. Only problem is all your other continents that should be in daylight are on the other side of your marble. I'd like to see the other side of the marble with all the other continents in darkness. Can you imagine looking at the other side of the marble where all the other continents are all crammed together? Yeah, that wouldn't look stupid at all. And your inability, Jake, to picture a sphere in your mind and understand that all the continents aren't on the back of it like a 2D disc, but all around it like a globe does not debunk it. So there it was, folks. It was right in front of our face the whole time. They show us Africa, but then they don't show us hardly anywhere else. And there's all these other places that should have been in full daylight at that exact time when this supposed photo was taken. 
but they aren't, which proves it is not an authentic photo. 100% debunked. The NASA blue marble is done. Except it's not. Because here's the thing, Jake. If NASA was really faking this with all of their millions, would they have made absolutely sure that these continents were visible on this photo to make sure that internet geniuses like you wouldn't misinterpret anything and then claim to debunk them? Dear, oh dear. Anytime you ever see anyone post a picture of NASA blue marble, I would really appreciate it if you shared this video with them because it completely debunks the blue marble, obviously. And being that the blue marble is the most widely used image of Earth, I would expect a lot of my fans and friends to share this video anytime they see it. And I would say to all of you watching now to pop a link to this video in the comments of Jake's video, but unfortunately Jake's turned his comments off. I wonder why. I'm counting on you guys. This video demolishes the blue marble, the blue marble is used more than any other image of Earth, so this should be the rebuttal, the go-to rebuttal for any time you see someone posting this image. Make sure to post my debunking video right underneath that pile of shit. This is the Flat Earth asshole, y'all, and NASA's blue marble is a big hunk of poo-poo, and it's 100% debunked. Well, Jake, that's all well and good, but I'm afraid all you've done is expose yourself as being completely clueless. Sorry about that. Well, I'm sure Jake will recover from this and bounce back. But if you really want to know that his debunking has been debunked, then I'll go and fill your boots. Right, well, there we go. Another Flat Earth Friday all wrapped up and finished for another week. Thank you so much for watching. It truly is appreciated. Uh, if you did enjoy this one, please do consider subscribing. We're very close now to 450,000. Uh, it would be hugely appreciated uh, by me. And if you really, really enjoyed it, hit that like button too. Just enough time to once again thank Established Titles for sponsoring today. Uh, remember, visit establishedtitles.com slash simandan uh, and use my code simandan to get an additional 10% off of the already massive sales they're having. I've been Simon Dan, have yourselves a great day and I'll see you all tomorrow for another Misconception Mini. See you then. <laughs>